guys, Crystal here with a makeup haul. And I also got a few other knickknacks that I want to show you guys. And I have quite a few items, so let me get into it. If you want to know what I got, then stay tuned. Okay, guys, first things first, I purchased the NYX lip glosses. And I got four colors, but I have one that's in my purse. And these are the Mega Shine lip glosses. And I got the color Plush Red. I also got the color Trendy and I got the color natural and I really love these glosses they smell amazing like they almost feel like you want to eat them um and they are very pigmented for, to be a lip gloss um even though the colors sometimes throw you off from the name because the one that I'm wearing is called beige but it's in a pink tube and it comes out pink but it's really cute <laughs> but yeah so I decided to pick these up and along with these, I decided to grab one of the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream. And the color I got was Tokyo. And this also smells like cupcakes, guys. Like, oh my God. You smell that? I mean, you see that? Like, it looks so, like, like melted lipstick. But it goes on really smooth. And um, let's see if I can do a swatch for you. And it's so pigmented. Like, look at that. Where they do that at? Like, NYX is, they showing out and for a reasonable price. So, yeah, I got that. Also, some lip products. These were on sale at Target on the clearance. And these are the Color Reach Balms. And I got the Legally Regal. Probably one you better see that with this crazy lightning I have. I have Come By My Window, which kind of freaks me out. <laughs> And I have Providence Romance. So yeah, basically these are like um, lip glosses or whatever. And you just roll them up and they are like this. And what I do is my lips are kind of pigmented. They show up really good, but they show up better for me um, whenever I use. See, like when I put this one on. It shows up a little bit, this is this right here, but it shows up to me better over a lipstick and it kind of gives it the moisture that it needs. Um, I'm not sure, I found that, that sometimes when they put stuff on clearance at Target it's because it's not selling or not that good, but these things were like uh, six bucks I think and I got them on clearance for $1.75 so I don't care because I'm going to use it, I'm a lip junkie. Okay, since we are talking about lips, let's get into some of these lipstick. I have a lot of lipsticks, so don't judge me. Everybody know about clean color, right? I have heard that these lipsticks are the boom.com. So I picked up Radiant Red, and this is how it looks. Hopefully you got to see this. I also picked up Pink Seeker, and it's a pink color. Hopefully you can see this. I haven't opened these guys to swatch them yet. But if you want to see swatches, thumb up this video and I'll swatch it for you. I got Magic Lime. And it's kind of like a corally pink color. And most of these are pink. <laughs> I got Happily After, which is a pink color. It's kind of like a... This light sucks, guys. But it's like a really, really uh, Barbie pink. I also picked up the color pink, and it's just a pink color. I picked up the color Tingly Mermosa, and it's kind of like a red and a coral mix. This will be really cute with a neutral eye. Kind of like the eye that I'm wearing today. I also picked up Purple Machine, and it's a really dark, vampy purple color. Can't wait to use this. And again, this will go with a really cute natural eye like I'm wearing today. Lastly, I picked up Georgia. And this is like a orangey pink. And I really think this will be cute when you try. And one thing I do, oh, I have one more. <laughs> That's crazy, huh? And this one is Fiesta. So yeah, this is like a pink and a, I'm sorry, not pink, a purple and a brown mixed together. Um, yeah, I did pick up nine of these lipsticks. I heard that they are really, really good and really, really pigmented. And I just wanted to 
to try them and y'all know i'm addicted to lipstick so i was like why not but if you want to see swatches of these then thumbs up this video or leave a comment down below and i'll make a separate video swatching these so this one will be super long also for lip products um i purchased a mary Kay bow shine lip color and this is the box it came in and the color is rose chart pink i think it is yeah but yeah it's basically just um a pink lip gloss so so cute um um i don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see this but it has kind of like gold shimmers this like kind of sucks i know i can't wait to get a proper recording area for you guys but yeah basically um the smell of this stinks like uh, i wish i was able to smell it before i purchased it because i would have never purchased this product and to be honest it's kind of sticky also like putting it on just on my hand it feels sticky so i don't even know that's the color right here i don't even know if i'm going to use the product but hey i'm a lip junkie and it was something that was reasonably priced so i nabbed it don't judge me but yeah i'm trying to keep everything grouped together for you guys so i can have like lip stuff together and it won't just be um all crazy stuff so let's reach over here because i did order three lipsticks from mac so let's go ahead and show you what they look like i got russian red which everybody in the world probably has but you know your girl knew the lipstick so i just got it and it came in this black too and look at that red color oh yeah that is so cute i'll go ahead and swatch these for you guys because um it's only three of them And it's a matte color. Oh my God. That is so pretty. That's the color right there. Like, it is even more surprising on my hand. I just don't. They said this was like better than Ruby Woo, kind of like. Uh, but look at that. That is beautiful. And that was Russian Red. The other MAC lipstick that I got was Snob. Everybody had Snob. So I was like, Crystal, get into this. Like, why are you late? So I decided to pick up Snob, and this is how it looks. It's kind of like an everyday pink that you can wear. So I'm so excited. I'm gonna go ahead and that one for you guys. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh, it looks really good. And this one here is Snob. Kind of like an everyday pink. And I like it because it has kind of like a blue purple undertone. So for my dark skin sisters like me, we'll be able to go ahead and throw a line on and get it going. And last lipstick I got from MAC was Faux. And I needed a neutral lipstick because the color I'm wearing on my lips right now is called Fergie Daily. But I really have to work with this lipstick. Like I have to put on a lip liner and a lip gloss and then I have to pat it on so it don't look frosty. And it's kind of crazy. So I'm tired. I want to wear a neutral lip sometimes. I don't want to just be bold every day. But um, I checked it out and they was like, this is like a really good neutral liner. I mean, sorry, lipstick for women of color, darker women of color, because it has, it's um, neutral, but it doesn't wash you out because it kind of has like a pink undertone. So, oh yeah, 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 yeah. And that's it right there. Cause it's kind of like, it's gonna kind of be like, kind of like a sheer pink. And then, you know, you can still always throw it on with a liner which I normally do because I have full lips, so I always want to make sure that it don't look messy. So yeah, those were the three lipsticks that I got from MAC. And I think that was everything for lip colors. So let's go ahead and move on up to blushes. And I only purchased two blushes. And the two blushes that I purchased were both from NYX. And they were Terracotta and Mocha. Which, like I said, NYX are the only people who name their blushes and they don't kind of look like it. Because to me, this looks kind of like a pinky blush. And this one looks like it would have been called Mocha because it's kind of like a goldy color. But I'm loving these. I've read some reviews. Sorry, saw some reviews on YouTube about these. And they said that these are really good for um, brown skin. So, so excited for those. 
So those were the only two blushes that I got. So let's get into some concealers that I purchased. And I had to go ahead and pick up these pro concealers that everybody has been totally raving about. Now I know this color looks really, really light, but sometimes I want to Kim K it up and go really light under my under eye. So I decided to go ahead and purchase Pure Beige. And I have worn this, hence that's why it's open. And when I wear this baby, my face is beat to the gods. <laughs> and also I purchased Fawn, and though that's the name right there. And I got Warm Honey. So yeah, these really, really, really are really good concealers. Like they are thick enough to where they spread nicely, but they're thin enough to where they don't crease and look all retarded. And like today, my makeup has been on since I went to work this morning. I did my makeup at 7 a.m. and it is now 8, a little after 8 and there. I mean, look at my makeup like, I am not even shiny boo, that's the highlight that you see. But yeah, I brought the pro concealers. Also for concealer, I got the Max Select Cover Up, and that is what I use to do my brows. And the one that's in here is empty because I'm going to back to Mac it. I have the other one out, but as you can see, baby, I use this to come past it. But I have the brand new one on my vanity. That's what I use to do my brows. That's why it's not in there. But these products you can back to Mac, but this is how it looks. And as y'all can see, baby, I'm going to have to back to Mac it because I use it up. <laughs> And for the last concealer that I purchased, I went ahead and jumped on the Studio Finish Concealer bandwagon. And I got the color NC50. Oh, and also in the select cover up, I got NC50. And basically, I bought this because y'all know I love Nitra B. And she uses this to do her brows. And I just wanted to see how it's going to look. So basically, this is how the concealer looks. And I'm going to probably use this to do my brows. And probably um, whenever I'm not using my Pro Conceal, then I probably use this um, underneath my eye. <clears throat> so yeah, that was all for concealers. So let's go into the powder. And the only powder I got, guys, is y'all know my MSF Mineralized Skin Finish. And I got the color Deep Dark, or is it Dark Deep? Dark Deep. And this is what I use faithfully to set my foundation. Again, my foundation has been on for almost, well, actually over 12 hours now. So I need my makeup at 7 and it's after 8. And I haven't blotted today. I haven't reapplied. I haven't did anything. And I may look just a little shiny, but sometimes that could be like me with my highlighting and stuff and stuff like that. But yeah, this powder gets it together for me, boo. It just it, it it gets it together. So that's why I purchased that. So I think that was everything for powders. And I'm sorry if I'm going through this pretty fast, but I do have um, a lot of stuff and I want to get it done and this might be a super long video. So if you have any questions about anything, hit me up below. Um, going to the eyes. Y'all know I had to get my number 28 right. And in Tennessee, do y'all know they don't have these? Like, I have to call a favorite from Dallas to send me some number 28. So I kind of stacked up on them. I have lashes, good boy. Um, but yeah, I wear only number 28s. I'm trying to get into the 747s. I ordered some from Shop Miss A. So when they come, and I'm going to probably do some get ready with me videos. Thumbs up if you want to see those. Um, and then I'll try to use those, especially. But right now, I've been using mascara. And yeah, that's my real lash, y'all. I don't even have on lashes. But yeah, got me packs of number 28. Another thing for the eyes is I'm also trying the duo lash adhesive. Um, normally I used to use bun and glue, but everybody swears by this and say this is really good, so I'm going to try it. And it is the white um, one that turns clear once you put it on. So I'm going to try that. Also for the eyes, I love the extra intense L'Oreal um, pencil. And basically it's a pencil, but it comes out like liquid and it doesn't smudge. Again, this is what I'm wearing. I've been wearing it for over 12 hours and I don't have a problem. Yes, this pencil is really expensive. It's $10, but it is worth it and it lasts for a while. And it's really, really black. Like the color I got is carbon black and it is dark. And I love it, baby. Um, 
I swear by these pawns makeup removers. Like my face is so stubborn and it will break out if it don't like something. So I've been buying these and these. One tablet will remove all of my makeup and they stay moist till the last tablet. And there is 30 in here and right now, um, these are on sale at Kmart. If you have a Kmart, buy one, get one half off. And the regular price of them are, I think they're like five bucks or four seventy five. So yeah, I stocked up on these. Also for a face product, I'm going to do the Mint Julep Mask by Queen Helene. Can't wait. Because since I've been in Tennessee, I don't know if it's the climate change or the water, but my face been trying to break out a little bit and I want to be able to not have to wear makeup every day. So my mama got to dock on, dock on her skin so it won't look a mess. And I know I'm kind of going out of order because right now I'm just trying to get everything shown. This is my favorite makeup daily brush cleaner. Um, I use this to clean my brushes because I shampoo my brushes probably once every two weeks. But I use this cleaner every day that I do my makeup and it spot cleans my brushes for me. Also, I did do a review for the Sedona Lace um, brush set. I will link that video down below if you haven't checked it out. But I wanted to get into these real technique brushes because i keep hearing that these are the bomb.com so i'm so so excited that i'm able to use these or oh, well, i was able to get my hands on them and ulta had these um had a coupon that i use on retail me not that i was able this uh, set was $17.99 and this was $8.99 and i got 20 percent off my purchase so i'm very excited so if you want to see a review on these, please thumbs up this video and I will take care of that or leave a comment below if you like to see it. Um, but I'm pretty sure that everybody knows about the Real Technique brushes. So I'm excited to have these. I also also have my favorite foundation. Buy one, get one, half off, and it's what I'm wearing now. Revlon Color Stay. Now everybody know when I first started wearing makeup, I was a cover girl. I love CoverGirl makeup and it is still a staple in my book, but Revlon Cover Stay, cover stay <laughs> has me beat to the gods. Like, again, my makeup has been on all day, guys. No blotting, no touch up, nothing. And it's because of this 24 hour Revlon. Like, I had to stock up on these, honey, and I am in the color Mahogany. I love this stuff. This mixed with the MSF, mixed with the concealer, and just being it, it stays deep all day. And also, since I am team oily, I have to keep my D Slick set makeup setting spray. This is the staple in my life. Now, this is a product that is Urban Decay by Scandinavia. Um, it is kind of pricey. It was thirty dollars for this bottle, but when I say you spray your makeup and it don't move, it don't move. Again, guys, my makeup has been done over twelve hours. No touch-ups, no blotting. Okay, I gotta stop saying that because I'm saying like commercial, right? <laughs> Infomercial. But yeah, so I got this from Ulta, thirty dollars, and I love it. And also, since I bought this, guys, they gave me a free makeup bag from Benefit. So so cute. I was like, oh, this is so cute. And it basically opens this way. So this is so cute. I am feeling this. Can't wait to put this up in my makeup room. This will be decoration. Cause as y'all know, I got 200 makeup bags. I don't need another one. Cause every time I get a new makeup bag, I want to buy more makeup. And if you see all the makeup I got, you will be like, Crystal, don't do that. Now, if I was a makeup artist, it would be different. But since I'm not a makeup artist, it, it, it's just getting ridiculous. <laughs> but yeah, so I got that from Ulta, and that was free. I didn't purchase that. From Avon, I like to purchase these little blenders or whatever. But I am going to purchase that beauty blender from Sephora. If I hear one more person tell me that it's going to change my life, then I'm going to scream. So I'm going to purchase one and try it and see if my life changes. But for now, I've been using this one from Avon, and I really like it. It's like tear shaped, and it has like a point, and that's what I use to blend my concealer in. And I think that's everything from here. So let's get into the last beauty products, um, makeup products that I have, and that is for the eyes. So Walmart, 
not Walmart, Walgreens had these palettes on sale. And it's hard to be the it girl. And these were the limited edition palettes. And I got two mules and Caroos. Real cute colors. I got a regular at the factory summer colors. I got I'm seeing triples. And I also got your 15 minutes aren't up. So cute, right? I know I love those palettes because not only you don't have to follow the eyelid, brow bone, and crease, you can use all of them for shadows. Like it just makes it more versatile. I also purchased these limited edition Fergie palettes. So I got this one, and the color is Suburban Jungle. Also got After Hours, which is sexy. I got Newport Nights, a neutral kind of palette. I got Desert Festival, which is like straight up fall, baby. Look at that orange. Get into it. I got Rose Parade, which is my favorite color pinks in, in any form that can be in. And I got Bulletproof Glide, which is kind of like a smoky one. So yeah, all of those were limited edition from the Fergie collection. They are still out and Walgreens have them on sale now. So go reach those. Also for eyes, I got the 24 hour color stay tattoos. And this color is Precious Pearl. And basically these are eyeshadow bases, kind of like the Pink Pots from MAC and I love them. So it's just like a pearl color. They are really good bases, guys. I've used some of these and they are the bomb. This one is Silver Strike. And it is just a silver color. Also, I got Bad to the Bronze. And this, baby, put this down and throw some gold on top of it. Mm, mm, mm. That's what you call a neutral eye. Also, I got Ink in pink very very cute love these i love these pots and they're just gonna last forever and this one i haven't used but it just looks like i've used it but it's okay because i'm gonna start swirling them around so they won't um, go out i also got painted purple and i do i have used this twice when i do my purple eye but look i've used it twice and you can't even tell that's the painted purple color and lastly, I got Tenacious Teal. And it's just a teal color that is giving me life. Oh, I can't wait to do an eye like that. Love it, love it, love it. And winding down here, guys, we have got to the four palettes that I purchased. Oh, also with the Urban Decay, I decided to get a um, eyelid primer potion. And this um is really good to put down before you doing your eyeshadows. Okay, for the last four palettes I got, I got the Lorac Platinum Stylist palette. And yes, I got this for 12 bucks. And you see it say um $110 value. Yes, this was on sale. It was one of those coffee break sales, and I'm glad that I was on a coffee break because I got it. <laughs> and basically, this is how the palette looks. It's kind of like this platinum thing, platinum uh, packaging, and it lifts up. And these are the colors. And y'all know the red palette are very, very um, pigmented. And it doesn't have names, it just says the platinum status eyeshadow palette. And it comes with the Lorac paper. So since I got the platinum status, I had to get the solid gold. So excited that I got this too. And the packaging is kind of the same except I think it's like a gold, yeah, it's a gold package. So it comes with this little gold package and you open it up and it has the Lorac paper. And these are the colors. This is more of your smoky with your black, your browns, highlights. Like these palettes are amazing. And this also just says the solid gold palette. And it comes with the same Lorac paper. And because I'm so hooked, 
your girl had to get the Pro Palette. Yes! And it came with a behind the scenes primer. They came with the palette. And this was sold out in Sephora and Ulta. So I actually purchased this off of eBay, guys. And it came brand new. And she even sent me samples. Like, and I only paid $49 for it. And it was only $42 at Sephora. So I didn't even have to pay a lot. But this is the Lorac Pro Palette. And let's get into these colors, y'all. Look at those colors. Beautiful. Which I'm pretty sure everybody knows because this is it's cool. It comes with the Lorac paper and it has a row of neutrals and a row of shimmers so in love with this palette and uh -oh, so glad that i was able to show you guys so i can start playing and doing some looks in here so i didn't want to start using it until i show my yt fam about it and last but not least, guys, y'all already know that your girl had to go in and get the naked three. I had to, had the naked one, and had the naked two. So I felt like even if I don't use it as much, I had to complete the trick. And the palette is so cute. It still has the same packaging as two, except it has like these rivets, like this little waterfall, and it just looks so girly. And when you open it, it has the big mirror, it has the double sided brush, and the colors that are in here are all pinky purple colors. So this will be definitely a palette for your romantic type of dates or Valentine's Day, anniversaries, weddings, things like this. So I really love this palette. Can't wait to play in these colors and put some looks together for you guys. Um, not tutorials because like I said I'm new to makeup so I can't teach nobody nothing I don't know but I can do some get ready with me videos and thumbs up or leave comments down below if you like those get ready with me videos and I'll make sure to try to get those out for you guys but yeah that is everything for this makeup slash anything I saw I bought haul <laughs> and I'm so glad that you guys stay tuned to watch this and again if you like these type of videos hauls videos or um, if you want to see any product reviews on these or if you just want to know where to buy them and I didn't say it, please leave a comment down below and let me know. Um, thank you for watching this video and subscribing if you have and I will catch you in my next video. Bye guys.